All right, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're doing, um, well, we we're gonna do some barbecuing until it decided to start to rain. But uh, today we are making cheeseburger pizza. And uh, we're gonna showcase some Epicure products while we do it. So stay tuned. So, we've got our hamburger already browned um, in the interest of time rather than watching you watching us brown up hamburger. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to cook hamburger. So, we've just browned up some hamburger. We used um, a little bit of SPG and a little bit of three onion. So, Epicure three onion dip and Epicure salt, pepper, garlic. Okay, so that was what we used in the ground beef. All right, come on over, bud. We're gonna mix up our, our sauce here. I'm right here. Okay, so for the, the, the pizza sauce, we're gonna do a mayonnaise-based sauce. Um, we're gonna use the Tuscan chicken burger from up here. So I'm gonna put some of that in. I've already got my mayonnaise here. Now, I'm not measuring this. I'm just gonna do it by taste. At the end, I can give you a rough idea what I used. I'm also going to put a little bit of sweet and smoky, uh, which is a topper, uh, but we're going to use it in our pizza sauce today. It's got a little bit of onion in it. Uh, it's got a little bit of pepper. And the only one it's that got, doesn't uh, have that's what else have we got in that? The only bacon bits, the um, only salt, tomatoes, chives, and herbs. The only one that's not very spicy. Is this one? Yeah, that's the coleslaw. We'll get to that one. Coleslaw okay. one. The other two okay. are spicy. Now we're just going to mix this together. Let's see what we have here. Now we, you could use pizza crust, pre-made pre -made pizza crust, if you want. Um, for today, we are going to use non-bread, so we'll be making individual pizzas. And like I said in the beginning, we were going to barbecue these. Um, but it's a torrential downpour right now, so. It's not raining anymore. Yeah, it is. Oh, never mind. Okay, a little bit more. Still tastes a little too much mayo there. So I would say I've used about three tablespoons there so far. I'm just gonna put a little bit more into this. Oh, it smells so good. Something else. Yeah, you picked a peony for mom, eh? Yeah, we have that bush, like it's like a bush out in the front of our yard. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this should probably do it. Let's take a little taste here, please. Taste tester. So, we've got about two cups of mayo. You know what it looks like? Hang on, i got to give them the recipe here. Mm -hmm. Two cups of mayo, three to four tablespoons of the Tuscan chicken, two tablespoons of the sweet and smoky. You don't have to add this one in, but if you got the Tuscan chicken, I would use that. You know what okay. that looks like? What? It looks like, remember when you made the whole made ranch, when you mix it up and shake it? That's oh, exactly yes. what Caesar? that looks like, yeah. Yeah, it does a little bit, eh? Except the Caesar is usually a little bit uh, thinner than this. Okay. okay. Pass me a non bread. Uh, oh. Yeah, right there. Okay. I'm just going to lay it down. I'm going to use the bubbly side on the bottom. And we're just going to coat that. Just like they would with a pizza. You just start the center and work your way out. Except when you're making a pizza, you oh. would usually use a... You grab the cheese out of the fridge. Pizza sauce. Yep. Can I have a slice? No, it's not sliced, it's shredded. Oh, oh, good. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so we 
We've got the sauce on. Huh? Now, let's come over here, bud. And we're just gonna put some of our meat on here. So again, just a little bit of ground beef on it. Okay, nope, nope, nope. No, no, you know what we're cooking. Okay. Comment down below, do you like shredded cheese? Alright, so we got our... Pay attention, bud. Okay, we're doing a lot of video here. Maybe just try Alright, now we want to put our cheese on. And I'm just using a uh, three cheese. So it's light, medium cheddar, partly skinned matzo, and parmesan. You can use whatever cheese you like. Because we're doing cheeseburgers, we wanted to go with a, a blend of cheddar and mozzarella for the pizza part, the parmesan. Okay, I'm just going to spread that around. Put a nice coating on there. We want our cheeseburgers to be. Okay, onions please. Open the jar very carefully. Yes. Because it's going to start squirting Burn stuff out. Eyes, eh? You and I are not fans of cutting up onions, are we? Exactly. I'm going to put a few onions on top. Okay. I'm still crying. Oh, you'll be alright. Okay, now I need the pickles please. Oh, pickle! Why is it called pickles? Okay, let's get those on there. I want to try a pickle. You got to taste it. Yeah, when we're done. You have to taste it. Yeah, when we're done. Okay. A knife would work it. better. No. A knife would work better. You can just no, go no, 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 no. Fork, please. Now we're going to transfer this onto our air fryer plate here. Or pan. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Okay. We're going to put that in the air fryer. I'm going to do two at a time. And uh, we'll get these ones going. Side down. Base on here, our pizza base. If you guys want to make this at home, when he says bubbly side down, he means this side facing down, and you're putting it on this side. All right, not so close, but people can't see it when you're not close. Okay, more hamburger. Now these are really funny when you eat them because they. Legitimately, legitimately, um, taste like a cheeseburger, but your brain. Yeah, you get confused. Thinks you're eating pizza. Yeah, you get confused because you're eating pizza, but really, it tastes so much like a cheeseburger. It does it taste exactly like a cheeseburger. Okay, we got our meat. Now we're gonna put our cheese on. So when you eat this stuff, you gotta be ready because you're gonna be. Okay, we'll get these two cooking, and while they're cooking, we'll get our coleslaw ready. How's that sound? We're going to make Epicure coleslaw tonight. Coleslaw is my favorite salad. It is your favorite, right? I don't like salad, I just like coleslaw. It's better. And coleslaw is a type of salad, so. Okay. It's a lot better because it, it's better because of all the different kinds of salads and stuff and carrots and I love carrots. You 
And like the dressing and stuff. You like your veggies. I like the barbecue ranch dressing. Alright. It's, it's, it's got pickles on here. Oh, that's better. Also, me and uh, me and my mom just went in the car, and we've been waiting for this girl because mom put, gave some shark tooth that she got at, at an aquatarium, um, and she uh, got one, and she she um, brought it to someone to get it on a necklace, and we finally got it, and it looks so cool, and. It, it's actually like a little sharp. It's really cool. Okay. I love it. Such a cool necklace. And then I have two others. I have this um, cross with footprints, and then it says stuff on the back. And then the, I have this, uh, I can't remember what it calls. It's called this thing. Alright, so we got two of them in the air fryer. Uh, we're doing uh, 400 degrees for 12 minutes. We'll see how that does. We'll check it halfway. Now, let's work on our coleslaw. So we've got just a, we cheated tonight, just a bag of coleslaw. We didn't cut the cabbage or anything up. We've already got measured out half a cup of um, mayonnaise. And you can use a half a cup of yogurt or a half a cup of sour cream. If that's what you have, we have sour cream, so that's what we're using. And we've got the coleslaw, Epicure coleslaw. We are doing two tablespoons. So we've got our Epicure measuring spoon here. And the beauty of the Epicure measuring spoons is it, um, it just clogs everything. Yeah, it fits right in the jar, right? Yeah. And when you stick it in, and then you pull it back out, it just sticks to it. It's like, it's like you, all you have to do is instead of trying to get it onto the spoon and move it around in the drawer, which is very hard, you just have to stick it in, pull it back out, and it'll have it on. So two tablespoons of the coleslaw mix. Eat your carrots, kids. Okay. And then two tablespoons of vinegar, white vinegar. So one and two. Now this is the recipe for the creamy coleslaw. You can also make a vinegar coleslaw with this. Um, you just don't use the mayo. So basically you do the dressing mix with a third of a cup of oil and two thirds of a cup of vinegar. So that also sounds very yummy. And we'll try that one next time. Why is, it so, why is it called Fix? That's the name of the company that makes This does taste a little different than what you're probably used to as far as coleslaw dressing. But it is very yummy. Oh, that's good. A little bit of dill in there. What do we got for ingredients? cane sugar, carrot, onion, herb, spices, mustard, sea salt, turmeric, chives, black pepper. It contains mustard. So that's the sour part of the tasting. That's interesting. I thought, I, well, maybe the dill is under the spices. Because that's what I, I taste in there. Is a little bit of dill. Now I'm going to try these dill pickles. Now, I'm going to put this into here. I got a taste test of dill pickles. You don't have to. Yes, I do. You pass me, Jason, yes. instead of eating our ingredients, can you pass me cake? Okay, the rest of us have to get rid of that. Mm. Okay, we got our Epicure spatula here. We 
sweet and sour. And I like the sweet and sour. That's why it says yum yum on the side. Now, when this is all done, we are going to drizzle mustard and ketchup over the top. Say what? Crazy, right? I'm going to do that now. No, not yet. Dang it. Oh, the mustard and ketchup are too. I belly grumbles. So Friday night's around here, pizza night, eh? Just pizza that tastes like cheeseburger. Yeah. That's all. So it's half Well, that's like the best of both worlds, right? Because we love cheeseburgers. Yeah, and Ryan loves pizza. We all love pizza. 
Yeah. And after we get, we're gonna watch we watch a movie every Friday night, and every Friday night we will get some treats. And we got some treats, licorice and gummies. All right, come back. I My mom also wants to get some superhero ice cream at um, Callens and some Tiger Thunder. And she what? Pistachio and stuff. I missed out on that trip. Yeah, well, you. That was at work. Yeah. Okay, last one here. Well, you would have missed out if you didn't spend all your money on a, a $700 bill. That's not why I missed out. I missed out because I was at work. Okay, here we are. Pickles. We got our last two ready. You can use that to take a few okay. days off. Pause for a second and we'll get those out of the oven. So there we are. We've got our cheeseburger pizza and our coleslaw. Hey, okay. ready to dive into this? Yes. I am so ready. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. And if you uh, like the video, click on the, the little thumb down on the bottom and uh, if you really like us, subscribe. We, uh, we appreciate it when everybody subscribes. It keeps us going. Thanks. Till the next one.